Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today on Technically Speaking, we're going to be taking a look at the new Haltech Elite 550 ECU. So what we have here is the all new Haltech Elite 550 ECU. Now immediately, what you'll notice is the size of the unit. The Elite 550 utilises the same compact enclosure as the Elite 750 ECU. It's water, dust and oil resistant and carries a single 34 pin AMP connector. So let's take a look at the feature set of the Elite 550. What you get here is a 4 injector driver, 4 ignition driver, 5 programmable output, 2 analog voltage input and a single digital pulse input ECU. Of course, it also includes critical engine sensor inputs like air temperature, coolant temperature, throttle position, manifold pressure, and crank and cam sensor inputs. Each of the four injector outputs are fully programmable peak and hold injector drivers, capable of running up to 8 amps peak and 2 amps hold current. It's important to note here, however, that unused fuel and ignition outputs cannot be reassigned as digital outputs on the Elite 550 ECU. If this is a feature that you require, we suggest you take a look at the Elite 750, the 1500, or even the 2500 ECU. Now, as with the entire Elite range of ECUs, the true beauty of the 550 is not so much what's in the enclosure, but rather in the programming software that it runs on. The Elite 550 ECU runs on the same ESP software as its bigger brothers, the Elite 750, 1500, and 2500. And what makes the ESP software so unique is its flexibility. And by flexibility, what I mean is that each and every map of the Elite 550 has fully definable and flexible axis setup. So say you want to set up a correction map on your boost control based on wheel speed, you can do this. Or perhaps you want to set up an individual cylinder trim map based on both boost and exhaust gas temperature, you can do this. Or maybe you don't want anything anywhere near this complex and you just want to trim in a little bit more fuel on cylinder four because you know that one always runs hot, you can do this too. So you have the ability to make your own custom map setup and it can be as simple or complex as you like. The Elite 550 ECU is the perfect entry level ECU for anyone looking to do a simple engine conversion or if you're using an older engine type. Now I say older engine types because the Elite 550 does not have the capability to run some of the modern engine control electronics like drive-by-wire throttle, knock control or variable cam timing. Some of the other more advanced features that the Elite 550 misses out on are things like anti-lag launch control, flex fuel input, nitrous control and onboard data logging. If these are particular features that you're looking to run on your engine control package, I'd suggest that you take a look at some of our higher spec ECUs like the 750, the 1500 or even the Elite 2500 ECU depending on your engine type and requirements. So I bet you're wondering around price now. The Elite 550 ECU upon release starts at a retail price of 1095 Australian dollars including GST or 849 US dollars for our overseas customers for the ECU only. Harnessing options initially will be either plug and pins only, a basic wiring harness with no fuse block or a premium wiring harness that includes a fuse block and relays. So there you have it. If you're looking for an entry level fully programmable engine control solution without all the bells, whistles and complexity of a more complex unit, then the Elite 550 ECU may be just the solution you're looking for. If you have any further questions about the Elite 550 or any other ECU in our range, please don't hesitate to give us a call on the phone, drop us an email or hit us up on Facebook. Well, I'm Matt from Haltech and I'll see you next time.